Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be displaying a custom CI in the Sorison portal. Now in a previous video, we actually imported the custom CI into Service Manager, but now what we need to do is actually sync that new CI over into the Sorison portal. So to do that, we're gonna start by opening up the portal as an administrator, and going to the admin section here and up to the admin settings. Within the admin settings, we're going to select dynamic data. And here under dynamic data, we can see that there's a synchronization interval. And we can see all the CIs that are currently being synced. So let's hit add. And what we need to do is filter by the CI that we want to be able to find. So in this case, it's data circuit yeah, there we go there there is uh, sorry some data circuit and then what we need to do is just remove the mt and underscore off the front uh, for this query to work so we can hit update on there update there we go and it's in there now we need to save that and as we save that it's going to warn us that we need to restart the platform cache do we wish to continue so yes we do And there we go. Now the platform cache will automatically restart in the background. But what we might do is actually come in here to the Cyrus and Cache Builder and actually stop and restart that as well. Once that's been restarted, we can return to the portal and we can navigate to the configuration items view and we can see all the different configuration items in here but our configuration item is not in there so what we need to do is actually create a new folder for it to go into so if we go up to navigation settings we can scroll down to uh, config items we can open that up if we select the top level here then we can actually create a new section that we're going to put this new CI under. And we can see here under the config items, we have a new section called placeholder text by default. So we can come in and actually give it a title. In this case, maybe networks. There we go. Now, if we want to, we can change the icon, but we won't for now. Now we can limit who can see that uh, new section by adding assigned AD groups. But underneath that, we now need to create a new page to actually show that on, to actually show the configuration item on. And if we come over to the config item views, we can see that new page appear. So what we need to do is now give it a new title. So data circuits, for example. And then we need to assign some AD groups. This is specifically so we can limit who can see these data circuits and who has access to them. If we use the public uh, option there, we'd be showing that to all users who could log on. So it's important that we limit this just to the people that we want to get access to our new CI. Now I just speed this along here to make it a bit quicker. Okay, there we go. So once we've done all our AD groups, we can then come into our view here and actually see data circuits and we open that page up. Now we've just got a blank page there. So what we need to do is add content and we have a different types of widgets that we can add there. And what we can do if we wanted to, we could actually also change the layout, but what we're specifically going to do is create a grid. So we just want the single page type layout. We then need to add some content so we come in, scroll down, and we select O Data Table Widget. So in this O Data Table Widget, we get that grid. Now let's edit the widget settings. And with the widget settings, we need to select an O Data Endpoint to start with. Now for the Cyrus and Portal, it's platform slash API. And we need to start with a slash. 
and as soon as we do actually start with the slash, you can see the choose collection there automatically um, enables. So we can see all of the data that has been cached by the Sirison platform all the way through all of these tables that exist here. Now our table will be something like cached underscore, uh, yep, Sirison data circuit, there it is there. Now I can limit what is returned by using the query string here, but for now we're just going to return everything. I can also filter by language. So all we're going to do now is choose and arrange columns. So we can uh, pick each particular column um, on asset status as well. Um, set ID, set type here. Um, and also uh, maybe description. Um, definitely the display name. I can also then choose uh, a custom desktop template or a mobile template for the form. Now we're going to look at that in a subsequent video, so we won't bother about it for now. Hit save, and there we go. That's our new view that we can see all of our new data circuits. And when I click on one of these, it'll actually open in a default form that is automatically generated by the system. Now in a subsequent video, we're going to look at how do we create a custom form specifically for this brand new CI as we don't have uh, a template for it out of the box for you.